Good morning, Susan Finch here, and I wanted to share this tool with you. This is right in line with Exit Power Strategies, and it's a new tool that Google has out there, and I don't know if you've seen this or not, but my husband showed it to me, and who knows, maybe he gets these emails because he is of a certain age. I don't know. I didn't receive this email because I'm not quite of that certain age, but let's check it out. You're going to go up to myaccount.google.com slash inactive. Now, again, you have to have a Google account or, you know, stop watching because it's not going to do you any good. But if you use Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive, and other Google products, you're going to want to know about this. But you're going to have to log in to do it. You can see I'm logged in up here. I have a lot of accounts I can log in as, but this is the one I'm in right now setting this up. I'll probably go through and set these up for my other clients as well. So let's see what happens. The inactive account manager is exactly what we've been talking about on Exit Power Strategies. It has to do with who do you share your information with if something happens to you? Or maybe just in general, who do you want to share it with? You can choose a trusted family member, or you can even say, forget it. If something happens to me and I'm inactive for a certain amount of time, delete everything. Get rid of it. Now we also know delete, oh, yeah, it means delete mm, pretty much. But of course, there's going to be traces of things out there. So let's go through this process. I'm starting this for the very first time. So I want to make this as simple for you as possible. So it says it right here, using inactive account manager, you can decide if and when your account is treated as inactive, what happens to your data and who is notified, if anybody. So let's set it up. Alert me. So I have to put in my mobile phone number. It's going to send a verification code. And I receive the code. And I'm going to hit confirm. So that's the first step. So just because you already have your two part validation set up doesn't mean that it knows all these things about you. It wants to make sure. This is for an alert. You can also add an additional email address. So if something's going to happen on my account, I want somebody to know ahead of time. So typically you might want to put your spouse, maybe you have a business partner, your best friend, I don't know, whoever you trust, that's who you put in here. I'm going to put my husband just because even if he doesn't know exactly what to do with everything, because he's not that involved in my business as one of my business associates, he will know to let them know what to do. So he is my first line of defense. And I can add another one too. I might actually consider adding my daughter in there just because she always checks things and she's really good at staying on top of things. I could add my business associate in there, but chances are my husband would tell her. But just as a backup, I'm also going to let her know. Set a timeout period. So one month before this period expires. If your account has been inactive for how many months, you can decide. For me, Three months is huge. If I'm not on Google in three months, there is a serious problem. So I'm going to leave it at that, that smaller rate. If you're only in here sometimes, maybe you're going to want to expand that to six months, nine months. I'm leaving it at three. Add up to 10 trusted friends. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I can also set up an auto response in Gmail. So let's do this one first. I'm going to pause it. So I put in Karen's email and now I can say, well, what do I want her to have access to? You can choose, you know, whatever you do or don't want them to. And then you have to put in their phone number. I'm not going to let you see this though, because that's her phone number and she won't want you to see that. So hold on. And then I hit next. So the subject is so sorry. Something bad has happened. I mean, I can say whatever I want in here. Hold on. Okay. I can write some sappy note and blah, blah, blah. And if you like me, I always cry when I write these kind of notes because if I'm writing this and she's reading it, I'm probably dead. Oh my gosh. How sad. So blah, blah, blah. Try not to boohoo. Okay. And then you say save. I can add more people in there as well up to 10. Remember it said that optionally delete the account. This I wouldn't do just because I don't know what people need once I'm gone and I don't want to make it difficult on them. There isn't anything scary or embarrassing I would have in there. So I really don't care. 
remember, if they have access to your mail, they have access to your contacts, to your sent file, whatever hasn't been cleaned out, your chats, your hangouts, all that stuff is available to them. So think carefully who you would want to be able to dig through all this stuff and who would need to be able to dig through all this stuff and add them to that list. So now we're all done. We can say enable and there we go. All set up. So I'm going to go through and do this for my other accounts. I have another personal account on Google that I use for silly things. And then I also have many client accounts. So I will go through and ask each of them how they would like to have this handled. So I hope this was helpful. It's a great tool. Remember, it's myaccounts.google.com slash inactive. Go ahead and set it up. It might save you some headaches later on and just give you a little bit of peace of mind. This has been Susan Finch with Exit Power Strategies.